All right, tech family. 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 Oh. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3000. Have I stopped recording? No, I haven't. Tech family, welcome. It's been two years since I posted my first video on YouTube, and what a two years it has been. A crazy learning experience and a lot of weekends and late nights spent filming and testing. But overall, a truly fulfilling journey. Heck, I can't even imagine what my life would be like if I wasn't a YouTuber. Anyway, I had to do something special to celebrate, and today I've definitely got something for you. Before we get into it, many viewers watching this channel are going through a tough time right now with COVID, particularly those in India. So on behalf of myself and all the tech YouTubers you're about to see, the proceeds of this video will be donated to charities fighting COVID. Now, originally for the channel's second anniversary, I wanted to do a video teaching you how to DJ, something completely different and random. I used to be a DJ in nightclubs every weekend, and I thought that would be super interesting. However, since I spent most of April away from the studio, I just couldn't get it done in time. So as I sat in the coffee store with my laptop, I thought, what else could I do for a celebratory video? And then it hit me. As a tech reviewer, I have the choice of any laptop I could want. I mean, just look at the shelf behind me. Seriously, I probably own more than 10. It's a nice perk for the insane amount of hours I put into this. I thought the ultimate test of a good laptop is what laptop laptop reviewers actually use and why. So I called up a couple of friends and here's what they had to say. Hey Josh, how's it going? I'm Tom the Tech Chap and a huge, huge congratulations on your two year anniversary. You're just killing it. Your channel's incredible. Now as for the question of what laptop I use, well, if you or any of your lovely followers and subscribers uh, have been on my channel before, you'll know that I'm a big fan of the Dell XPS series, the 15 and the 17 particularly, which is why I'm using a MacBook Pro. <laughs> um, I think since the uh, M1 chip came out, honestly, this has just been my go-to laptop. If anyone asks me what laptop should they buy, I usually just say the MacBook Air. Uh, I can't wait for the refreshed 16-inch uh, version, so that when that comes out, that'll probably be my go-to. But for now, yeah, this is the uh, this is my laptop of choice. So again, huge congratulations and keep up the good work, buddy. Hey everyone, Eber here with Hard and X and Josh. Happy two year anniversary, buddy, and I wish you the very best in the years ahead. And I also want to take this time to thank you for including me in this collaboration. Now, because I work from a studio 99% of the time during the day, I mostly go to my desktop computer for all of my production tasks, which include researching, uh, scripting, editing videos, making thumbnails, SEO, and pretty much everything that goes into making a YouTube video. But if I have to work remotely from anywhere outside of my studio, and if I need the performance to keep up with my workflow, I switched to the Dell XPS 17. This laptop has the best display that you can find for a Windows machine with excellent color accuracy. That's awesome for content creators. The brightness levels are amazing. The 4K resolution is really sharp and I love it on a bigger display. The performance is great for editing videos in DaVinci Resolve because the RTX 2060 is still pretty darn good for that task. It's got a full-size SD card reader, so I don't have to worry about carrying adapters around. All in all, it's just the perfect option for me as a content creator. But as an everyday carry when I need to respond to emails, edit photos, I do some web development, I use the Razer Book 13 because first off, I love its compact form factor, it's lightweight, it's built really well, the display is really bright and color accurate, and it's really sharp as well. And the performance is surprisingly really good considering that I have the i5 model. I also love the fact that I can charge this laptop with the 65 watt fast charger uh, from OnePlus that I also use to charge my smartphone. So it's just one charger that basically charges all of my USB-C devices, so I don't have to carry multiple power adapters when I'm on the go. Hey, I'm Dave from Dave2D, and this is my personal favorite laptop. It's the Asus Zephyrus G15. I like it because it's white, it's running an AMD chip, I like supporting that company, and it's got an RTX 3080, I believe. Powerful stuff. Uh, this is the best laptop, really. Anyone who says otherwise through a clickbait video is lying. No, it's just a good laptop. I like it. I was about to say, what's up and welcome to another episode of Gizmo's Club. That's not what this is. <laughs> anyway, congratulations, Josh, on the anniversary. Josh asked me to share what laptop I use, and this is the SCAR 15. It's a little dirty now. 
<clears throat> I've done a not wipe down from all the B-roll shots. So this is my SCAR 15. It has a Ryzen 9 5900 HX and RTX 3080, 64 gigs of RAM, 16 terabytes of SSD space. The biggest reasons why I love this laptop is that it is still thinner, lighter, very portable, and it's still got a flashy look with all of these cool RGBs and lights on it. Still has great battery life, a great display, still really good temperatures and thermals. The chassis can easily sit in your lap on the go, and yet it can still edit, stream, record, do everything I need to do, include play VR video games, which I am a big VR fan, including PC VR, so use the Quest 2 or a Pimax 8KX. And yes, I have used this 8KX with the SCAR 15. So those are the main reasons why I like the SCAR 15. Hey Josh, it's great to see the channel has already reached two years. Good stuff and keep up the good work. The laptop that I still personally use is the Gigabyte Aero 15X, and yeah, that's an older Intel 8th gen model now. This thing has traveled all over the world with me and is pretty dinged up. There's plenty of dents and scratches, but it still runs smoothly. I picked it up years ago as I thought it was the best laptop at the time for video editing while traveling. Not that we've done much of that over the last year. The main important parts for me are the big battery, full-size SD card slot, Thunderbolt, and the decent screen. Now there are many more options with these key components available these days. Days. But even though I have access to the latest tech, I haven't really needed anything more than this. I don't really see the need to upgrade between one generation and the next. But that said, this is getting a little older now, and the newer Aero models do offer a lot more. In particular, better thermal design, and of course that OLED screen. I'd love a Ryzen option, but Gigabyte just don't seem interested in making that happen. So depending on how the Intel 11th gen version looks, I might have to end up going for that. Although I'm most interested in that OLED screen, I think upgrading from 6 to 8 cores in a laptop for video editing will be useful when traveling. Matthew Mon is here, and thank you, Josh, for having me on. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, and I know this is gonna suck, but I'm really not using a laptop as my main computer right now. I'm at home, and if I'm not at home, I'm at the office. Under the situation that we're currently in with a lot of people here in Canada being under lockdown, there's little traveling, next to no traveling whatsoever. So it doesn't make much sense for me to use a laptop as my daily driver. I'm using a custom desktop PC here at the studio. I did a video on it recently. And then when I'm back at home, I'm using another cu custom desktop PC that I use specifically for gaming. Now the other 10% of the time, I am using a laptop. It's mostly a MacBook. Pro 13 with the M1 chip. I love this thing. Like this thing is an absolute monster, but I mostly use it for good battery life, working around the house to answer emails and general productivity. Hey Josh, it's Andrew and I just wanted to show you this. This is what I've been grabbing is my grab and go laptop as of late. This is the ThinkPad X1 Titanium Yoga. This is a great laptop. It has a titanium cover, absolute premium. It's got a carbon magnesium chassis, super thin and light. I don't think I've ever seen a laptop like this, so super thin and light. Three to two aspect ratio, a QHD display, absolutely gorgeous, bright, sharp, vibrant, everything you'd want in a convertible laptop. It has a pen that attaches magnetically to the side here. This is my grab and go laptop. And one more thing, Josh, I wanted to say congratulations. Two years on YouTube, absolutely crushing it, smashing success. What does the BOB use? I'm gonna tell you, I live the laptop life. I have no desktops or not even a monitor connected to my laptops. That's right, I live it. With that said, I gotta create content. The Aero 15 does that nicely for me. It allows for some good portability. It has the ultra high speed two card reader. So when I rip this 4K file off of my DSLR and put it into my editing suite, it can happen snappy. Not to mention 4K OLED, I'm a slut for the OLED. Not to mention my software works really good for Intel, but allow me to shill out a little bit of that rise in love. You see, I always have to have another laptop that I'm using just to get a better grip on reality and what people like. And what do people like? They like Ryzen. This is a 17 inch RP laptop from Electronics and it has a 4800H and a 2060. And with that 144 Hertz display, it just, it, it fills my inner man-child's needs to be able to play Overwatch after my wife and kids go to bed, and I kind of like that. Not to mention, it has an SD card reader, and it can do everything this can do for my Bob of All Trades channel, just a little bit slower, but it's a much better gaming device. Oh, and it doesn't sound like a typhoon. Hi, this is Stephen from Mona Disso. Congratulations to Josh for surviving two years of YouTube. He has done very well on his channel. Well. My deli driver has to be the 15-inch MSI GEC66 Dragon Shield. 
who wouldn't want a laptop that comes with its own spaceship? I wanted a laptop that had was different with its distinctive Star Wars fighter design and it won me over. It has the i9-10980HK and it has a 99 watt hour battery, a 1080p webcam and the all-important MUX switch and also advanced BIOS makes it perfect for the enthusiast. The 2070 Super GPU is slightly faster than the new RTX 3060 as well. Hey Josh, it's Lon from Lon.TV. I'm sure a lot of people contributing to this video are talking about their fancy laptops with their GPUs, multiple cores, and all these gigabytes of memory. This thing is my favorite laptop because it's still working after all these years. This is the Micron XKE233. I got this in February of 1998 when they were clearing them out. These originally sold for $6,000, almost $10,000 adjusted for inflation. But what's neat about these laptops is that they're upgradable and modular. And it came in probably around 10 pounds or so when you had both batteries installed. And you might say, both batteries? What do you mean by that? Well, this thing has replaceable modules here. So I could take out the floppy drive and the CD-ROM drive here and swap in two batteries and run it for seven or eight hours, which was quite a bit. It's something that we just don't see anymore. It's just modularity and expandability. And that's why I wanted to focus on this one because maybe it's time this kind of idea comes back to give us more flexibility for upgrading and using our machines in different situations. My turn. Just like Bob, we are 100% laptop shop here. Let me go through all the laptops we use. My primary laptop is the Dell XPS 9310. If you bump into me at a coffee store, see me at an airport, or you've watched my channel for a while, you'll know that that's the main laptop I use. It's funny, as I feel most viewers think I hate Dell, but there you go. I love its super sharp 4K screen, I love how small and portable it is, I love how comfortable the keyboard is, and how accurate the trackpad is. Also, the speakers are some of the best I've heard on a Windows laptop. My main gripe with it is the warmth I feel from the chassis, which is definitely frustrating. I almost switched to the Lenovo X1 Carbon Gen 9 because of that. The Carbon Gen 9 runs much cooler to the touch and has longer battery life, but I kept finding myself going back to the Dell XPS for its better display and more comfortable keyboard. For video editing, I'm using the Razer Blade Advance for 2021. It looks gorgeous on the desk and it cuts through videos like butter. I have the RTX 3080 model with 32 gig of RAM, which I got free. Check my video on how that happened in the link below. I've upgraded it with an additional two terabyte SSD for a total of three terabytes. The fast SD card reader is extremely handy for transferring files from my camera and the USB-C charging is super handy when traveling. My main gripe with it is the high pitch fan noise and the horrendous webcam. I did try to switch to the HP Omen with Ryzen 5000, but Premiere Pro seems to run better on Intel laptops still. Plus, the fans on the new 2021 HP Omen seem to run a lot more than on my prior 2021, which is really annoying. Our awesome video editor for the channel uses an Aero 15 from a couple of years ago. It has an Intel i7 9750H CPU, 64GB of RAM, and an RTX 2060. He loves the OLED screen, the upgradability, but like me, finds the fan noise very frustrating. Lastly, shout out to my MacBook Pro 16. I used to use it for video editing and thumbnail creation. As our videos became larger and more complex, it is unfortunately no longer powerful enough. As you can see in the chart on screen, it just can't compete with the graphics in NVIDIA's latest RTX 3000 series laptops. So I no longer use it for video editing, but I love Apple's Photos app. It's just so easy to use that I still edit the thumbnails for this channel on it. Now, you will notice that a certain legend was missing from this video. I did connect with Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and she would like to collaborate in future videos, but she felt this topic just didn't match her impartial style of reviewing. I think she brings up a good point. No matter what laptop you see us using, keep in mind that our specific use case may be different to your own. So be sure to pick a laptop that has the features and the specs that are important to you, not to somebody else. Good to see you, Josh. Cheers, Lisa. Look, before I go, I want to humbly say, being a YouTuber is hard, really hard. Until I tried it, I didn't appreciate how much effort goes into it. We do our best to make it look simple and natural, but on my channel, every minute of video takes on average two hours to make. I want to say a big thank you to all my fellow tech YouTubers for the incredible effort you put in. Links to their channels will be in the description below, so make sure you check out their excellent content they create. Anyway, 
That's all for today, folks. Hopefully, this next year on YouTube should be a massive one. I've got so much I'd like to share with you and so many goals for upping the level of content I create. If you like this video, make sure to smash that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up and the notification bell. I would certainly appreciate it and so would my mother. And as mentioned, all the proceeds of this video are being donated to charity. So please, please, please share this video. Share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, on YouTube, on Discord, Reddit, Instagram, TikTok, and even Tinder. Let's smash it and help some people. Till next time, go do something awesome with your day and I will catch you later.